Hello, this is a video for Somerset Music um, on how to play the ukulele um, and I'm just going to go over some of the basics that you need to know before we start playing just to get yourself set up and just so that you can uh, you can get the best out of your ukulele. Okay, so first of all, hold the ukulele with your left hand supporting the neck and your right hand over the front by the sound hole, this hole here. Okay, so left hand gives a wave with your left hands this is the neck okay pointing out to the left um, all of the ukuleles that you're going to be using in class with somerset music are tuned right-handed if you have already learnt to play an instrument um, left-handed um, and this doesn't include left-handed people only if you've actually learnt to play an instrument left-handed then teachers if you could tune the ukulele in the opposite way round, I'll explain more when we talk about tuning. Um, but if you haven't learned, it doesn't matter if you're left-handed or not, if you haven't learned to play an instrument the left-handed way, stick to the right-handed method. Okay, it doesn't make it won't affect you, won't make any difference. You're not going to use that as an excuse. Okay. Um so let's talk first of all about tuning because that's one of the most important things so the tuning of the strings is G C E A okay G this is string number four C this is string number three E this is string number two and A this is string number one okay so strings go from from one to four upwards but when we're tuning, we think downwards G, C, E, A. OK, so um, a mnemonic for that would be uh, greedy cows eat apples. G, C, E, A. Try and come up with your own mnemonic if you can. G, C, E, A. So tuning. This is a tuner. There's lots of different kinds. There's ones that look like this. Um, OK, with a little little screen on the front. Oh, wrong way around. Little screen on the front there. OK, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Some of them look like this. So it's the same sort of thing, just a slightly more space age shape. Um, and you get all sorts of different shapes and sizes of tuners. Um, I think I've got one on that guitar up there, which is the same as this one. Um, they're, they're various different uh, styles of tuner. Um, by that, I mean that some of them are more advanced than others. I would suggest if you're... A beginner and if you're just looking for you know a, a basic ukulele tuner then get one that is an actual ukulele tuner some of them like these ones have got more advanced functions on them and they can get a little bit confusing um, the more they have on them okay so let's just look at what the tuner does so we know let's in fact what I'll do first I'll just I'll just put my ukulele out of tune uh, okay, so we know that first string, or sorry, the fourth string, this one up here, if you remember, we said this was going to be G. Okay, so if we look at the screen of my tuner here, I'm going to play the note, and you can say it says G, if I take it a little bit lower, okay, it's actually now, it's saying that's an E, okay, and I've got it more or less, that, do you see how it goes green? So when it goes green, it's telling you that the string is in tune. However, it's in tune to the note E, not to the note G. So we need to make sure that not only is it green, but it's saying the right letter as well. So we need to go up. Okay. There we go, G. And I've just noticed that that's... That number three next to the G indicates to me that it's not actually on a ukulele setting because it should say four. So this one, like I said, with the advanced tuners, they have different settings. So now it's on ukulele setting. So now when I play that note, you can see the little four comes up next to it. It's telling me that string number four tuned to G. And because it's gone green, it's in tune. Okay, so now I'm going to do the next one. So this should be a C. And you can see it is a C, but the, the, 
the indicator light here needs to be in the middle for it to be in tune. So I'm just going to make it go up a little bit more. And you can see I'm not tuning it miles. I'm not twisting and twisting and twisting. I'm just giving it a little tiny tweak just to get it in tune. If you find that you're turning and turning and turning and turning, you're doing something wrong. OK, and one of two things is going to happen. Either the string is going to snap. If you're lucky, the string will snap. Worse than that is that the whole bridge will be ripped off the front of the ukulele. And when that happens, the ukulele is useless. You can't you can fix it, but it'll never be the same again. OK, so don't over tighten them. And if you find you're doing loads and loads and loads of turns, unless it's a brand new ukulele that you've bought online because they never come tuned. Um, but if you are turning and turning and turning, it's probably best that you, you take it to someone that knows what they're doing. So G, uh, G, C, E. Now this one's too high. You can see it's the, the bars are going the other way. So I'm going back on this one. Okay. And I always find it's best to take the note, take the string lower than it should be and then work your way back up to the note. There you go. It tends to stay in tune better if you do it that way. And then finally, this should be A. So I'm going to take it from G up to A. Because we all know in music, notes go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And after G, we go back to A again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so now my ukulele is in tune. And that's what it should sound like. If it doesn't sound like this, when you play all of the strings then it's not in tune, okay? So just to show you that one more time. Okay, take a moment, tune your ukuleles, and we'll talk a bit more in a moment. Okay, so you've all got your ukuleles in tune. You're all holding them the right way round. The last thing I'm gonna talk about now is one of these, okay? And I should, you should have a plectrum. I've issued them all to the schools. Um, so you should have a bag of plectrums in your class. So all of you should have one of these. Um, and they're, they're optional. If you want to use your fingers, use your fingers. OK, there's no there's no rule that says you must use a plectrum. I tend to use them on the ukulele because I play with lots of people um, and I like to be loud because obviously being the, the director of a lot of these groups, I have to make sure I'm heard. So I do use a plectrum quite a lot. Um, but, you know, if I'm playing on my own, I do like to play with my fingers. You get a much nicer sound when you play with your fingers. Using a plectrum is quite harsh, quite loud, but it's an optional thing. OK, so we hold our plectrum between our thumb and our first finger on our right hand. So wiggle your right hands. OK, teachers, make sure that everybody's waving their right hand. OK. So when you've got your right hand up, hold your plectrum between your thumb and your finger, OK? And make sure it's sticking out the side of your thumb, not the top of your thumb like this, OK? So the side of your thumb like that, all right? So I'm just going to ask teachers to pause the video and just check that everybody's got their plectrum in their right hand, that they've got it correctly sticking out the side of their thumb okay pupils if you hold your plectrums up so your teacher can see okay so just take a moment to make sure everybody's holding their, their plectrum correctly okay so now we've got our plectrums in our right hands we've got our ukulele with the neck pointing towards the left the last thing we're going to do in this video is just strum our strings from top to bottom OK, so after four, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and we're going to strum all of our strings. OK, so let's do that together now. Ready? One, two, three, four, strum. Let's do it one more time. Make sure your fingers are not touching the strings. If you get this, it's because your fingers are on the strings and they're not able to vibrate. Remember that sound needs vibration for it to for it to work. Okay, so we take our fingers off the strings. 
you can support your ukulele down here you can hold it there or kind of like that or you can rest it on your hand hold it up here on the on what's called the headstock this part up here so your fingers are not touching the strings let's strum it a couple more times ready one two three four strum let's do that one more time with me one two three four strum okay so that's the end of this first section teachers now if you just want to practice that strumming technique a few more times just making sure that everybody is strumming at the same time trying to get that timing what you could then do is try and get pupils to strum on every beat so one two three four and you could even make a game of it say you know okay we're only going to strum on beats one and two one two three four one two okay so have fun with that don't spend too long get on to one of the next videos um, and learn to play some of the some of the songs that I'm going to be teaching next. See you all in the next video.